I'm going to be changing my brake pads and my rotors. And the reason why I'm doing this is I trailer my boat a lot. And my trailer does not have brakes on it. So my brakes wear out more than a typical car would. But my first step of what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my air suspension system, come down here to the setup, and then I just scroll through pressing the setup button until I get to the screen that says air suspension. I hit the reset button and I turn it off. Now my air suspension is off. The reason why I do that is if I forget and I have the thing jacked up and I start up for any reason that I'm not going to have my um, compressor come on and try to level out the car and over inflate my bags. The other thing I do is I cut my wheel. If I'm going to be working on the passenger side, I cut my wheel uh, all the way to the left. If I'm working on the driver's side, I cut my wheel all the way to the right. And what that does, it makes it so I can reach the caliper a lot easier. And I'm gonna... Even though I am working on the brakes, I'm still going to pop the hood and I'm going to take off the lid to the master cylinder. We're using a half um, inch socket and on a three eighth rack ratchet and we have a bolt right here at the top and we have one down here on the bottom. With those bolts out, there's nothing really holding the caliper on except the pistons. So what you're going to do is maybe start with a smaller screwdriver and wedge it in between the piston and the brake pad and just pry it away from the brake pad a little bit, both the top and the bottom, and now that caliper should come right off. And when you pull it off, set it up high. Watch out for that brake line. Don't let it dangle on the brake line. So I'm using a 13 16 socket on a breaker bar and we have a bolt up here on the back side of the brake pad holder and then down below here. And those are on snug. I mean, I think they're set to about 180 foot-pounds, so I'd actually use a breaker bar uh, So I didn't hurt the ratchet set and I put a pipe on it in order to loosen those off And I'm gonna be Exchanging these so I'm not worried about really breaking them anything, but I'm gonna give them some taps on the back side right around Don't damage this plate on the back Now we're going to spend some time doing some cleaning. We're going to remove these tabs. We're going to take a wire brush to the insides of these, clean them out. Once you've cleaned them off with a wire brush and get them all shiny again, you're going to just blast it a little bit with some brake cleaner. Again, don't get this in your eyes. I'm also going to pull these off right here. And we're going to uh, put some new grease on them, clean them up a little bit. And just make sure that the boot covers the silver so you don't see the silver anymore because the boot is to protect it to keep the dirt out. And just use your finger to spread it around. So when they're all in, it should look like this. You know, sitting in there, like that. And I take the C-clamp, put it over it, and then I crank it down until the pistons are completely flush. Once you put it on, just throw a little nut on there to keep it from falling off. I'm going to reattach the brake pad holder. And with the brake pads, we do have a inner set 
with the humps and an outer set without. Now I have my brake pads back in. Again, I find it easiest if you put them in the top. I find it easy if you put them in the top first and then push them in over this. And you should have a little bit of play in them. And as you can see, I put the ones with the humps on the inside. Not as much play in that one as I like, but it'll move out of the way. And now we're going to put the caliper back over it. Again, I have the pistons already collapsed and compressed. Otherwise, it would not fit over those brake pads. I have the caliper back on, tighten it down. Now the bolts that were holding on the brake pad holder and uh, holds on the caliper as well. Those bolts were very hard to get off. So when you put them back on, really crank them down as much as you can, almost as if you're putting on a tire. And they really should be on there very, very tight. Make sure you put your master cylinder cap back on, close your hood. When you start back up your car, make sure you turn your air suspension system back on. And also, if you've done things correctly, when you first um, step on the brake, it's going to feel as if you don't have any brakes. And that's what it's supposed to do because when you collapsed the caliper, there's now going to be some space there that you have to kind of close. So what you're going to do is you're going to pump your brakes. So don't just get in the car and start driving because you have to get the pistons in your caliper to come out and touch your brake pads. So don't get on the brake pedal hard and push down. Just kind of give it light little taps, whatever it gets the air and the fluid through the line. Push the pistons out a little bit at a time and you will be fine.